The Ella Valley is named after the pistachia trees that grow in the hills that surround it. Located on ancient roads, and around it were many settlements throughout ancient history. The area was in the territory of the Kingdom of Judah on the border of the Philistines, and therefore there were wars. Became famous mainly for the war between David and Goliath. It is written in the book of Samuel. Now the Philistines gathered together their armies to battle, and they were gathered together at Soko, which belongeth to Judah, and pitched between Soko and Ezekah, in Aphes Damum. And Saul and the men of Israel were gathered together, and pitched in the vale of Elah, and set the battle in array against the Philistines. Soko is in a position that dominates the road, and was inhabited from biblical times for about a thousand years until Roman times. Today it is called Lupine Hill, due to the flowers that paint the hill a strong blue color in late winter. Tel Azekah also called Zehariah began in the Canaanite period, and was also inhabited until the end of the Roman period. The ruin of Kepha, also called the Ella Fortress, was inhabited during the Iron Age and the Hellenistic period. Some identify it with the city of Sha'araim, and may have been a Jewish city from the time of King David. The earliest Hebrew inscription found to this day was discovered at the site. Adullam was a Canaanite city conquered by Joshua, and mentioned several times in the Bible. It was important in the days of King Saul, David, and the Kingdom of Judah, and was settled again in the return to Zion during Persian rule. Horbat Atari was a Jewish settlement during the Second Temple period, destroyed in the Great Revolt against the Romans and destroyed in the Bar Kokhba Revolt. Horbat Bergen was also a Jewish city during the Second Temple period. Some identify it with Kafar Bish. Horbat Madras was an ancient settlement that began about 3,000 years ago. Some identify it with Druzes from Greek times, and the Byzantines built a church there, which existed until the Arab period. There are other ruins of ancient settlements, in the area there are many cisterns, wine presses, caves, and caverns. In the Ottoman period, the Arab village of Zakaria was at the foot of Tel Azka. The village has retained its name since the Roman period, and according to tradition, it is the tomb of the prophet Zechariah. And the Arab village of Beit Natif, which preserved the name of the settlement of Beit Letifa from the Roman period. During the War of Independence, a group of fighters left Har Tov to help the settlements of Gush Etzion, on the way after passing through Beit Natif. The convoy was attacked by local Arabs and all 35 of its fighters were killed. A few months later, the villages were occupied by the Harl Brigade in Operation Mountain. The Arab village of Ajur was captured in Operation Yoav. Mashiv, Agur was built on its lands. Kibbutz Netiv Halanidhe was built on the lands of Beit Natif, by Palmic veterans and Holocaust survivors. Mashiv Zehariah was established on the Arab village, some of whose residents left and some were evacuated without force, by decision of the Israeli government. In 1958, the Jews established Mashavim, Neve Michael by Persians and Moroccans, Gavat Yeshayahu by Hungarians and Safriram by immigrants from North Africa and India. Two years later, the Sarajim community was established, and Mashiv Adarit. Britain Park and Adulam Park, open to the public for nature walks and antiques.